back nerds and news hunters today I am playing Walken Lords of Mayhem and I'm gonna show you how you can rock this two-handed crit build and dominate everything in your way so keep watching <music> And without further hesitation, let's get into it guys. As you can see, I'm loaded up in Walken and I'm wearing this uh, two-handed weapon that is hitting pretty hard, right? So let's take a look at the numbers at first. You can see here in the details, we're doing 2,562 damage. It's pretty high. We can use the shout and we can get up to 3,200 damage. It's pretty cool, right? So check it out okay let's jump into the uh, passive skill tree here we are going to uh, spend some points here in the soldier mode 10 ferocity ferocity and critical hit chance critical hit chance again and attacks critical hit chance score as well to gain some extra damage we want critical hit because it's really buffing up the damage a lot so we're going to continue here 20 ferocity maximum health 10 percent 10 percent attack damage as well and we're going to pick retaliator because this uh this is actually going to going to give us damage when we have resistance on our gear right so this is also telling us what kind of gear that we need to look for we need uh, all resistances to be able to get uh, to buff up the damage and survive in the higher dungeons we got uh, plus 10 percent to all resistances here as well and as you can see I've taken a different path kind of down here we're going through the uh, sentinel tree here to gain some agility which is giving us damage and the reason why I've gone this way, you can see we want more agility and attack speed. And we want more attack speed, so we're going for the backline raider here with plus 20% to attack and casting speed, right? So 5% here attack speed, 20% attack speed. And agility toughness, giving us a bit damage as well. That's why I've chosen this way down here. And a bit of toughness again here. So we're coming down here to the warmonger cruelty giving us plus 10% material damage and uh, more attack speed again so that's 10% more here and you can see we got 30% physical damage converted into rent damage so 30% of our physical damage if you're wearing a decent two-hander you're doing a lot of extra damage into rent here and uh, even more rent damage here, 15% more, and then I've chosen 10% life leech on the bleeding target. So when we have rent up, we do quite a lot of damage, right? And we're going to get life leech from that. And many two-handers also have life leech. I've noticed. So uh, we got quite high crit here. We got quite high attack speed for our two-handed. So we can do a ton of damage, right? And we got some survivability here with life leash. And as well, you need to gather up gear with all resistances on it. So this means this build is, could be viable to go in really high dungeons, right? And buff up the damage a lot and actually survive using the two-hander and hitting very, very hard. Next up here, we have the points. You can see how I've spent the point. 237 ferocity, 132 toughness, and uh, the agility amount that we have here. I have not spent any points in wisdom or agility, but we gain a bit of agility from the uh, passive skill tree, right? So, without with this out in the, w in the way, we... Oh, sorry, we need to jump over and uh, have a look at our skills now. 
So we have the bleeding edge uh, with increased area of effect. We have uh, the unstoppable momentum where the X stays at the same position spinning around. I want to be able to jump in there uh, with the wings of Ishmael and drop down this on the, on a bus for example and just run away and leave this to do uh, all the damage right so you can see in total damage is just 1041 damage it's pretty good and uh, combined with everything else here you can see at most four increased area of effect improved critical chance on stunned enemies so we are running the stun build here you can see the shout gains stacks of weakened on the enemies and we get more rage when we use the shout to build up some rage we can build up rage before we jump in and be ready to use the bleeding edge so it's pretty good track is reach we have uh, foes affected by the hook is stunned again stunned it's very powerful pulls enemy away from all every direction so you can pull all the enemies towards you you can stun them all and you can put down the bleeding edge and you will just smash them up right and also we have the increased rage when we drop in with the wings of Ishmael and we have stuns on impact so this is pretty working out pretty well guys and I will show you right in a second in some gameplay so let's get into that as well alright guys so here we are we jumped into this uh, plus 10 it's a plus three veteran dungeon and uh, let's get some gameplay going here as you can see we are going to do quite a bit of damage uh, we just there's a rare here and we're hitting pretty hard with this build we're gaining up a lot of we're doing a lot of crit damage and getting a lot of health back from it as well so that is cool i'm just gonna try and hit this you can see the actual weapon damage is also pretty good because the weapon that i'm using for this build right now is uh, ornamented smasher it's a warhammer it had high damage and it got life leech as well and critical hit damage right that's what we want and uh, actually I'm looking for a better one at the moment I want one with more sockets in it to be able to do even more damage and make sure that you have flat damage here on your rings flat damage on your necklace and you want all resistances in every other slot here a good idea is to find a breastplate because it got a lot of all resistances which is giving you a lot of damage and if you could find one like this with ferocity on it as well and giving you rage back that's pretty good and you I'm having this uh, I'm using this uh, lucky belt as well and as you can see guys here a lot of resistances again a lot of resistances and some health regen uh, it's giving me quite a lot of damage and I'm pretty happy about that so uh, let's just go ahead and kill a few more here so I can show you that it's actually working so we have a rare here let's just to get this guy down right? let's get some rage and we're going to pop down two of these and you can see that he's going down pretty easily alright guys so as you can see it's working out pretty well for me this build and I hope that it will work out for you as well and uh, I'm going to play this even more on my live streams uh, while I build up and go through all the veteran levels so uh, I hope you liked it guys and I will just see you later if you like my content like subscribe and comment down below will you be using this build I would like to know so peace out